agriculture is a great industry. It's an industry where families work together often um, and we work in very small teams. Now, sometimes those teams can be incredibly supportive, but sometimes they can be incredibly stressful. Sometimes that means that people relax the way they talk about safety and relax the way that they talk about mental health. In some ways, farmers are up against it in terms of the things that they can control and the things that they can't. Um, whether you're talking about weather, whether you're talking about prices, and it's often easy for farmers to feel like they've got no control and that things are spiralling. And some of the traditional places that people go, like GPs or, or psychologists, are just not available. National Farmers Federation has brought together FarmSafe, which were a whole lot of state initiatives under the one national banner. I think it will teach people and, and help people to appreciate that you know, mentally healthy workplaces are, are good for their bottom line. We've also supported initiatives like Are You Bogged Mate? or Are You OK Day? or even the Blue Tree Project, which again, I think, really prompts discussion on some of these really, really important issues when it's talking about mental health and wellbeing, issues that people often don't talk about. A mentally healthy workplace is one where, particularly on a farm, people can clearly delineate what happens during the business part of the day and what happens in on the social part of the day, um, where people come to work um, prepared for uh, the workplace and where the attitude in the workplace is very much to keep people safe at a physical level as well as at a mental level. There are a lot of great resources through Mental Health at Work, that website from the New South Wales Government and others as well that people can download specifically if they're interested in having the conversation in their workplace or taking that conversation to another level.